Oh, we're live on YouTube, huh? Man. Hey, good evening. Um, hey, welcome to uh, the May or the April recap sketch show. So um, this is the fourth one we've done. So four months, man. Um, that time flies. So we're excited to go ahead and get this thing kickstarted. Uh, I've got a wonderful set of panelists. Uh, we got a whole lot of entries this month. Um, you definitely, you guys definitely, um, the, the topic was a little generic, uh, but it was really cool to see all the great art. So we're looking to um, kind of get this thing kickstarted, get it rolling, and then um, get you guys on your way. So let me just start with this, everyone's favorite presentation. Uh, window and share. And we're going to add the stream. We're still figuring. There we go. Sketchbook debate, April 2023, number 151 for the Comic Art Live. You guys know how this goes, but I'll go over the general rules. First, in April, like I mentioned, we had 306 entries. So it's an absolute record uh, for the sketchbook. You guys kind of blew it out. Uh, you know, looking through, and I just want to give a quick honorable mention, uh, Roland Shepard, um, I don't know if we've ever communicated, but uh, you get the participation trophy, not just for this month, but for every month. Um, nice try, Mikhail. My phone's on mute. I've learned that lesson. Uh, so, but anyway, you've had so many entries and I appreciate it. But just to kind of recap the kind of the rules of the show, there will be four rounds and there are four panelists. Each of your panelists picked their four favorite pieces of art. Granted, there was a little bit of overlap, but we kind of worked that out. I mean, there's some that um, were, were mutual between all the panelists. And then what the panelists will do, they'll, they'll kind of talk to you guys, why they picked their individual ones. Some you know, did a little prep work, some did a little costumes, put a little creativity in here. And some, like Larry, is just going to be a, a whole mountain of optimism. So we're excited about all that. And then at the end of each round, <laughs> we're going to ask you guys to vote. And then the winners of those four rounds will vote. And then the final winner will be entered into our CAF Live, uh, Best of CAF at the end of the year for a full-blown Thor trophy, which I'm told by Bill will have a removable hammer. So everything will be good. All right. So let me go ahead and bring in our panelists. First, we've got a military colonel who is actually a winner of two of the CAF uh, sketchbook contests who just ran out the door. You got scared of being on YouTube Live. That was Jim Keller. <laughs> We've got uh, everyone's favorite Wonder Woman fan. Uh, Wonder uh, effing woman. And F stands for fun. It's it's not a curse word. Absolutely. Yep, that's right. Oh, oh, Colonel is back. Uh, crisis averted. We've got uh, tons of fun. <laughs> everyone's favorite optimist, Larry Toon. You're on mute, Larry. And then you've got finally um, Miss Sharona, Miss Sharon. Yay! Hi. Hey. So, guys, uh, welcome to the panel. Uh, a couple of you guys are returning. I really thank you. Thank you for your time. Uh, I also thank you guys for uh, taking the time to go through 306 pieces of artwork to pick your four favorites. Um, that was a lot to go through, but it was, it was a lot of fun too. Yeah. Well, I mean, every time I've done these sketch shows, um, I am surprised by the quality of art that I've never seen before on calf. And I'm pretty much addicted to calf, right? Um, that, that meets the theme. Tentacles were a little bit more surprising just because I didn't expect quality. <laughs> you know, paint is kind of generic, but there was gorgeous work throughout. Gorgeous work. Yeah, a lot man. of things I've never seen before. So, and then um, right now the, the, the theme for May is humor. So, Especially on Mondays, guys. You know, Monday sucks. So I encourage you guys, jump on that sketchbook. Either submit your own or read what other people have submitted. Um, there's some funny ones. And there hasn't been a Frank Cho cover, uh, sketch cover put up yet. So I'm surprised by that. So I need one of you guys listening to throw up that Frank Cho outrageous um, uh, acquired taste comedy cover. Yeah. So You just want a um, boob joke. Admit it. Admit it. What's that? You just want a boob joke. Admit it. <laughs> oh. Every day of the week. <laughs> I feel like that's what they all are. <laughs> well, no, he's equal opportunity. He draws um, full figured uh, individuals. Yep. So, uh, 
full, full, full body composition. We'll leave it at that. So before we jump in, I'll, I'll ask you guys, open up to the panel. Um, so when you jumped in there, what were your thoughts on kind of viewing all the artwork in the sketchbook and, you know, trying to peruse through 306 pieces? I did it by thumbnail. I looked at the thumbnails first because if it, if it drew my eyes a thumbnail, it was going to be it was going to be a top choice for me. And then I just had to keep on narrowing down. It was hard. That's how I did it too. I was yeah. like scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. If something caught my eye, I would blow it up. I even printed things out, trying wow. to check it out. You know, like hmm, do I really put it on your this? wall? Yes. Yeah. Screen capture. Put it on eBay. Exactly. Like imagine that it was mine. I wish you know, but it was so much fun going through everything awesome. so hard to choose too because there's such incredible art out there yeah jim how did you pick any that weren't yours jim <laughs> <laughs> jim looked like he's working are you are, are you are you giving orders to the troops oh. uh, <laughs> all right i'll have to First talk to jim over. He just got something <laughs> classified. Sorry. He doesn't, he doesn't take orders. Yeah. yeah. Jim, are you having technical difficulties? Good, sir. No, he's not. He's on mute. He's on mute. <laughs> All right. Larry, how did you pick yours? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> oh, I just went through them and just picked them. <laughs> so I'm just kidding. No. Um, it's, I mean, a weekly is like 1,200. So 300, it's like really nothing. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I don't know, Jim. Your mic's not picking up, buddy. I blow up like maybe 10 like you guys did and just like shortened the list. Yeah, I heard you were taking bribes, Larry. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't get enough. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> a, she's she's her own painting. <laughs> On the screen. That is crazy. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I, let me see if I can <laughs> click on this thing. Uh it didn't work. Oh. Uh, Bill usually does that stuff. Let me see. <laughs> Don't worry about it. People. We've got <laughs> Sharon. Oh, I, I removed her. <laughs> removed everybody. <laughs> I'm the smile. I'm not the smile. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh. Next time, do the crotch goblet. <laughs> <laughs> I no. that. That is so brilliant. Where is All that? Right. Well, we'll give uh, Jim just a couple more minutes to, um, I don't know, figure that. He's he's calling military IT. Yeah, he's working on things. <laughs> happy birthday, Sharon, by the thing. way. What? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Oh, thank you. Birthday. Oh. 29 again, huh? I, I'm not going to say. <laughs> but, ah! Oh. <laughs> All the cool kids have birthdays in May. Yeah, that's no, Larry's birthday is the 17th. No, 18th. 18th. Yes. Oh, close enough. <laughs> close enough. Same. All right. Well, I think I'm going to talk for Jim, too, until he kind of figures this thing out. Let me see. Uh, you can try to talk about Jim's choices. Yeah. They were okay. No, they were good. <laughs> okay. All right. We'll get through, see if we can get back on. He said he can't hear anything. Oh, oh let me add him. Let me add him. Mr. Keller? All right. I had hey. to restart. Hey. hey. There you Use are. Use that non-government issue phone. I think we're good. I think we're good now. All right. We got you. Woo. I was working Woo. up a sweat trying to get that taken care of. Yep. Oh, in case you guys don't know and you want to hate him a little bit more, Jim's actually a two-time winner of this show. Where That's is right. He, he Thanks, won guys. with the uh, Dan Mora, uh, Savage Land Rogue, and the um, wavy one, right? The, was it Almages? Yeah, the, Almages. Uh, wave? Yeah. Congratulations. Woo. Thank you. All right. I haven't well, entered the last two months, so <laughs> even it up a little bit. Here we go. Give All somebody right. else a chance, man. <laughs> yeah. You ready, guys? Let's go round one. Speaking of, uh, I don't know, I have no segue. Cute little critters. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what do you uh, got here, Jim? So this was one of my backup pieces because uh, I, I got uh, bumped on a couple. So uh, this is Super Pets, um, Legion of Super Pets by John Watson. Uh, it has some of the more popular characters like Crypto, uh, Streaky, a couple that I hadn't really been too familiar with, like Beppo, the Super Monkey, a new Comet, the, the Super Horse, 
but they also had Hoppy, the Marvel bunny, you know, back uh-huh. from the, the faucet days, you know, from, you know, the forties. So I thought it was a um, cute piece, um, brought all these super pets together and uh, something different. And I needed um, to try to get a couple non-published pieces. So <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you this, uh, to ask the, 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 the people watching, which pet do you think would win in a death battle? Mm. I'm trying to figure out what kind of pet the horse is. I mean, is like what part of the Justice League is the horse from? <laughs> oh, wow. Well, he's Comet, the super horse, so uh, he's got superpowers, so he can, you know, oh. stomp him. I don't know. Just and needed a horse. Eat a lot of hay. <laughs> and you can ride him, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> a monkey always wins? Yeah, I'm going to give it to the monkey. <laughs> and those things are vicious. They claw your faces off. And then I saw that movie. What was the Nope? That movie Nope? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, with, I'm with Marcus. I'm with the horse. The horse? Man. It's big. The comet's the biggest. You know, trampoline. Yeah. Well, that monkey will claw that, claw that horse's face. <laughs> I, I, I think maybe the dog. Yeah. What Everybody you, loves are you, crypto. Are you a Everybody cat loves. person, Jim? Um, I'm more of a dog guy, but <laughs> I'll, I'll take crypto. All uh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that'll be a poll next piece. time. And um, yeah, I enjoyed it. Nice. All right, we've got Super Legion of Super Pets. They look pretty vicious. Very cool. Especially that cat. That that bunny looks a little scary too. With the I wouldn't trust the rabbit. Mouth. Like what kind of teeth is happening underneath that? <laughs> Never trust a cat, especially an orange one. Especially rabbit's <laughs> teeth. Oh, well, think about it. Rabbit's teeth don't start stop growing, and since it's <gasps> super powered, you can't gnaw them off. Oh, there you go. The, the, the rabbit would win. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Number two. Who's this guy, Sharon? Oh, my goodness. Hello. It's Stan Lee. Oh. Um, this is a truly historic cover. Um, uh, it's published uh, depicting Stan Lee with some of his most popular characters, including Thor, Human Torch, Mr. Fantastic, Sue Storm, The Thing, Incredible Hulk, Silver Surfer, Spider-Man. It's awesome. Um, most of us recognize this book, um, his autobiography, and um, it, I wish I could have seen this artwork in person. I, I never have. It, it's amazing. I mean, there he is, you know, Stan Lee. It's, it's great. Um, this is one of the ones where, um, you know, I looked and I saw it, and then I had to do a second. Like I saw, I, you know, just a picture of Stan Lee, and then I was like, oh, John Romita? Oh, his autobiography? Right? Like I wasn't aware of the original source and oh, like, whoa, it's, that's it's that's really an cool. I was I was trying to get it from the warehouse today. I was like, where is that book? I need to get it, please. Let's find it. But no luck. But um, yeah, the interior is like a comic book, and Anthony owns some of the comic pages from this. Um, it's really cool, and and um, you know, Anthony has met Stanley and. Um, so is my son, Jameson, and um, like when he was 10, look at this really cool. Um, when Anthony was 10, he got this signed by Stan Lee, this dollar bill. He went to a Comic-Con and, and met him and said, Stan, please sign that. Isn't that cool? When he was 10 years old, when Anthony was 10. And then this is my son, Jameson, um, hanging out with Stan Lee. I thought that was amazing. That was in San Diego, like 2017. Anyway, as you can see, awesome. I'm a huge fan. And uh, definitely John Ramita. What? The master. Yeah. That is, a, that is a regret I do have. I wasn't too big on the con scene. So, fortunately, I never at least got to meet, you know, even though it was a long line, it's 36 seconds and all that kind of jazz, you know, just to say I was able to meet Stanley, right? Yeah, I mean, this, they were hanging out in a hotel room. Um, They got time to talk and, and stuff, so it was pretty special. Awesome. Yeah. Wow. All right. So let's see. We got from Jill. Wait, more animals. More what we got animals. here, Jill? This is a nostalgic choice, though. So this is the, the 45th anniversary of um, ElfQuest, and this is the the cover to the first trade. Uh, and, I mean, it's all Wendy Feeney. She's she's amazing. Like, just look at the colors, look at the dress, look at, like, sky behind him. It was just 
whoever, whoever, you know, the, the, the person that posted this didn't have any idea that they were pandering to the judge, but they were totally pandering to the judge that, you know, the judge hadn't even been named yet, but this is the first uh, book that really got me into reading comics. So I had to, I had to pick it. That, that elf wins for abs. That's for dang sure. Yeah. They all got abs, man. Jeez. The women too. Woo! <laughs> They're all amazingly elf. fit and beautiful. <laughs> How do I get on that elf that, diet? <laughs> I was, this was on my list too. One of the ones I was going to pick too. But. Yeah. It's just, it's just really pretty. Like she just makes it all look so ethereal and the colors are great. And, uh, it's it's rare. You can't. I mean, all of the published work is at Columbia University. So somebody even having this painting is just like wow, amazing. I didn't know that. I didn't That's know that either. One of those donations. Oh, forty five years old. I didn't even know that. Yeah, ElfQuest is forty five years old. The first art publishing. And uh, sorry, let me do the Berkey. Forty five years <laughs> old. Over four Are you decades. kidding me? Are you kidding me? Uh, <laughs> that thing's older than I am. I know, right? So, um, Sharon's 29. It's like 30 years older than she is. Yeah, it's older than everybody Thank here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> we, we pander to our panel. Um, <laughs> that's awesome, man. Uh, no, I, I had no idea it was one of the, like, like, like the Bill Water or something. Yeah. Or two, you see, right? I don't. I, for me, your your audio cut out just for a second there, so I think I missed your question. I think so too. Me too. All right. And then yeah. we're, no, he's talking without his lips moving. It's amazing. There you go, Larry Stelfreeze. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, a Brian Stelfreeze. So there you go. Uh, I think there were a few Brian Stelfreeze that were uh, uploaded, but uh, this one was definitely what I thought was probably the best one. Um, I mean, this is about painting, so uh, Stella Freeze deserves a spot on one of the on the on the show. So, um, guy's a master, and uh, I think any anybody would love to have this Stella Freeze in their collection. I know I would. Um, I mean, with all due respect to John Romita, I mean, think this painting is better. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, has, I mean, has nice legs too, but. Uh, you know, Brian Stelfreeze is just an amazing artist. That's what Brian tells a John. Keep going, kid. You're, you're, you might be something someday. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, you can't have a, a, a painted panel topic without a Brian Stelfreeze painting. Right. So I'm glad he was represented. He does fantastic work. Just fantastic. And I think, um, I think what's our buddy Khalil is about to uh, upload. A little bit, some just kind of preview. I'm not taking any thunder. I'm not saying what he is, but he's got something special coming our way, so we can be able to share. Um, all right. Well, we got round one, and do we have any closing statements besides the fact that uh, John Romita doesn't hold a candle to Brian Stillfreeze? No. <laughs> <laughs> What do you got, guys? I'm just I'm just shocked that Larry picked a DC piece of art. So I don't know. I guess I'm just stunned mm -hmm. into silence here. Oh, I'm ambivalent to whatever the character is. I'm just <laughs> gonna choose fine. it all based on the quality. I will say this on you know, if you guys seen Guardians <laughs> of the Galaxy, um not yet. You know, <gasps> I and no spoilers, but uh it's got a lot of animals and animals are anim anthropomorphic animals are big right now. <laughs> Trying to help you, Jim. <laughs> this is four very uh <laughs> strong choices though. Yeah. It's tough because I, I originally picked the Stan Lee, you know. So. <laughs> there you well, go. So, so is that I who you're most for, Jim? The, the, the Wonder Pets, too. So. All right. So let's see. Here we go. Um, so if you guys know how to do the slide up, Super um, you can either go to the website and put in that number, 1346575. Um, or you can just uh, do the QR code on your phone. Man, I have all my applications closed. What? What? <laughs> Tell Cisco right. to get you a better laptop. I need to get this again. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's the crazy what? part is? Uh, the laptop. <laughs> what? Yeah. The laptop's good. Uh, it's all the bloatware that my company throws on it. I was just <laughs> looking at the uh, task manager, and um, our cybersecurity uh, platform is, um, well, you're running all kinds of stuff. Like it's that. fantastic, but they've got it all, all of it running. 
So, all right. Jason, Jason said he can't see the poll. I don't know if he's going the wrong link. Technical. Okay. Anyone having any issues? I didn't have any issues. Yeah. Got yeah. So, voters. <laughs> I mean, don't use a flip phone, Jason. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> This 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 was a hard round. This one, we're coming out swinging here. There's there's really not a bad choice in this round. Oh, it, it doesn't get easier. No. Oh, out of three hundred, I mean, one percent of that is still nice. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's a tough month. <laughs> All right. Any any anything to final uh, sway the audience? I, I like them all. Okay. <laughs> I, I do too. I I actually like them all a lot. Just Jason, can we, all great can we go to the next one, Jason? Did you vote? He said it's up now, sorry. So I'm, I'm guessing we can see it. Oh, oh no <laughs> Nice. Thanks, Talk guys. Talk about the underdog. It's the abs. All about the elf abs, baby. Every, everybody Yay! likes the abs. It was a great team for Sketchbook. If it was like high fantasy or just like a fantasy theme. Anyway. I, mean, I think it's awesome that ElfQuest won this. ElfQuest doesn't get much credit. I mean, they always go under the weight radar. They do. Oh, I lost my connection to the camera. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can't see we you hear either. You. Yeah, but no, no visual. I something here. <laughs> By the way, you can read the vast majority of ElfQuest at ElfQuest.com for free. Wow! So, absolutely free. So if, if you That's haven't read enough. it, I highly recommend. Let's try this again. <laughs> oh. Okay. We, we got you. Hey, uh, yeah, I, I did a little optimization. So we got ElfQuest. All right. I will, I will admit, I didn't think ElfQuest <laughs> Super Pets was number two. Well, you guys just... All right. Never mind. The audience <laughs> has spoken. <laughs> Alberta's paying people not to vote for me. A bunch of Stan Lee haters. That's know. what you are. Alberta's paying people not to vote for me. Yeah. All those... All, <laughs> it's all those Marvel guys are voting against Stan. Sorry, yeah. Sharon. Uh, <laughs> all right. Let's go! Round two. Round two. What? what is Jim, that? That's Jim, Jim, this, cool. this is... All uh. Right. After my own heart. Yeah, this this wow. um, this one caught my eye. I mean, just I the color, you know, um, onslaught, um, the Megan Hattrick. Um, yeah, just beautiful. It, this was a published piece for uh, Fleer Ultra. I, I don't know what year uh, these cards came out, but like I said, just just vibrant, beautiful. Uh, made me jealous because I would love to, to own this one. And, I think this one was 1998. Okay, uh, I know it was, uh, you know, based off of you know Andy Kubert mm -hmm. uh, artwork and Mark Wade. So yeah, just um, really like it, and like I said, <laughs> figured, uh, at least James would uh, appreciate it. So <laughs> mm -hmm. I heard some uh, like some vintage onslaught artwork is uh, coming up in auction soon, um, so I'm excited to see that. Yeah, but, I think onslaught yeah, brought bankruptcy to Marvel. Yeah, I mean, he's that powerful, <laughs> dude. <laughs> World ruin and financial ruin. It's it's yeah. meta. So, um, and this is uh yeah, Megan uh, Hetrick. Uh, she does really good painted work. Um, it, a lot of uh, DC, a lot of um, you know, like Wonder Woman and stuff <clears> like that, as what I've seen. Um, but you know, she's she's does very nice painted work. I didn't even know she's been in the industry that long. I, I've only noticed her about maybe like maybe seven years ago, but wow, I didn't know she worked in it since the 90s. She, she's always done great work. You guys have never heard of her. She does great colored work. Yeah, I love all of her color stuff. You can just go and search her on calf and it's amazing. I'll have to go check her out. All right. Looks like we've got, what is this, Marvel Century? Who is this? No, it's Major Sharon. Super, super Superman by Bill Simkevich. Um, I love this page. I mean, he's flying from the darkness into the light, like just like as Superman does. Incredible. I love the rays of light coming forward. I think it's acrylic. Um, it's it's just beautiful. Look at that. Superman. 
I've had the pleasure of seeing this one in person. And no! It's fantastic. Yeah, it's wow! Someone, some hippie dude's wall. <laughs> yeah. Tyler's in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a giant did, you see, did you ever see another version of it by Bill Peak? Bob Peak? Bob Peak? Um, I think it had Bob Lane in it, and I don't know, but I, I like this one a lot. The, this is incredible. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Bob Peak drew uh, Superman? I'm going to have to look that up. Yeah. I think I know, kind of you know, Superman was always about in the hope. comments. Yeah. I think he, he was always about hope, you know, flying into the sunset, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. You just kind of feel it. Mm -hmm. I mean, come on. That's super. Superman. All right. He just punched Gene Colon, or what was that? Is that who the uh, <laughs> Superman 3 was? Or, man, my <laughs> Superman knowledge is terrible. All right. Speaking of super. Oh, super girl. Super That's girl. Right. This one was mine. How appropriate. We're kind of having Jeez. a super round. Hey. Yes. I mean, freaking Steve Rude, right? I mean, you can't go wrong with Steve Rude. And this, I just loved like the, the stuff lying in your face and the colors. And she's not like cheesecakey pinup either. There's nothing wrong with that. I own a ton of pinups. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. But just the look on her face and the anger and the expression and the body language and just the colors. I just loved this. It was just. I don't know. So powerful. This is definitely one of the ones when I was scrolling through and looking at thumbnails, I'm like, Ooh, I want to take a closer look at that one. Yeah. So Steve Rude is definitely a, a fan favorite. And and I knew I had to, to pick a, a Steve Rude because his, his painted stuff is just, it's amazing. Actually yeah, I, I have one up there, but you know, you it's like, it's it. like Brian, uh, still for He's where if you're going to have a painted category, kind of have got to have a Steve Rude. We would not do our job as panelists if we didn't have a Steve Rude and a Stell Freeze and a Sinkevich and like something, you know, those really epic painters <laughs> in here. So, well, and the audience came through, man, and they, they, they posted some of those things. So, true. But not, not all of them are mainstream uh, mm -hmm. for those guys that are posting, but so far, That's quite true. a bit of them. Been. So, we've got Supergirl, and then we've got, speaking of non mainstream, this is fantastic. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Nick Runge, Runge, I don't know how to pronounce his last name, but uh, he's done some great pieces. He doesn't do any uh, fantasy or comic book stuff anymore. Now he's more uh, into the realistic or the fine arts. Um, but uh, this this piece was probably before he made that transition. And I guess this is also a cover, Ghostbusters number four. But uh, um, I'm not sure if they they're they're supposed to look like the uh, the actors, but uh, I just really like the details of this. Um, I mean, I'm also a Ghostbusters fan as well. So, um, but all right, fine. You don't like it? Okay. <laughs> oh, where did my awesome. presentation go? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. part, of, part of the mind, guys. Just <laughs> we're going back. We're going back. I close something, try to optimize. James doesn't like Ghostbusters, apparently. No. He ain't afraid of no ghosts. There we go. Ghostbusters. <laughs> um, okay. go. um, I mean, I, I didn't, I mean, this is a published cover. I mean, maybe a wraparound cover or something. I thought it was, it, yeah, it's one of those ones that I stopped scrolling uh, and say, whoa, that was really nice. <laughs> so. Yeah, I mean, I these, this is uh, one of, uh, so, Nick Runge, I've always wanted to get a, a piece from him. And I said, uh, I'll wait for the perfect piece to come by. I mean, I don't, I didn't, I didn't see this one available. But by the time I was, you know, looking for a piece, he's already like quit the industry. <laughs> so, so um, I'm going to have to find one secondhand. Gotcha. All right. His calf well. profile name is Larry Tun. Submit your offers now. <laughs> <laughs> When I first saw the Supergirl, I thought she was opening a door, but it looks like she's blocking the door. All right, I'll no. click so. Maybe she's just like pushing some walls out or so, like she's she, like making her way through somewhere. I don't know. All right, because I thought she was, uh, I think she's blocking the laser from me or something. I don't know. Oh, yeah, maybe. I mean, she's powerful enough to do that. What's going on? Oh, nope. Oh, this, are we this voting now? This one's an old one. I just want to go to Dude Abides because there's no reason not to ever show that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're, we're about to do the voting. Any 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 final comments? We've got Onslaught, uh, staple of the, the, the 90s X-Men. Um, took down the multiverse. Took, took down, down Marvel's finances. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, 
Superman can't even say that. I mean, DC's finances have always been challenged. Yeah. You've got a <laughs> Supergirl, Superman, um, and yeah. Ghostbusters. Oh, they're got, all so incredible. Oh, that's they're all so polite. Yeah, Sharon, so, want to know. Oh, well, mine's best, of course. I mean, look at the I cape, think, the negative space cape. The I think flying. Superman's going to win this one. Even though it's just a big giant cape, I think it's going to like a that's a parachute. It's so cool to swirl with the cape though, and then the sun. <laughs> you want to fly with him? You feel like you are with him. That's the best. Seventy percent, seventy percent. It is. It's just like well, it's plain color. So. Yep. So we're about to go to vote, and then vote for the for the one you like the best, not not the the Wonder F and Woman posse. I'm looking at you, Casey. Vote for the one you like the best. <laughs> <laughs> think what are you talking about? I don't ha I don't have like extra oh. people voting or like come on now. This is a fair oh. sphere. I haven't campaigned nothing. <laughs> Just on the show. I forgot to vote. I'm doing it. You guys are voting? Oh, you're voting for your, I guess. I don't vote for no myself, reason. though. I don't vote for myself. You don't vote for yourself? No. Huh. I, I, don't, I don't have that. I guess there's no reason you couldn't vote. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Pull up a <laughs> multiple browser, Sharon. Multi Where's Anthony? Anthony, vote. <laughs> <laughs> if you get on your cell phone and vote. <laughs> Not the flip phone, the other one. I gotta get my kids. All right. <laughs> Go on, slot. Come on. Marvel represent. Superman! Yeah. I'm up and away! Yeah! Yeah, it's cool to see his face. I mean, come on. <laughs> uh, yes, Stanley, we do. Oh, I'm gonna do this. Um, any comic roundtable. We do that for intermission. Absolutely. Oh, Our version of sharing uh, topics. Topic. <laughs> we got one. You know it. All right. Here we go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna click it. I was gonna say Ghostbusters. Oh, Superman. Nope. Ghostbusters. Well, what? I voted for Superman, okay, so it looks like I gave it to Superman. Uh -oh. <laughs> it's a tie, though. Uh -oh. All right, James, you do the tiebreaker. Last time I checked, thirty-seven, thirty-seven, are the same number. Oh wait. Uh, Oh, I thought I won. Somebody vote. <laughs> Five. I'm call it if it's tiebreaker, I'm gonna throw both of them in the final I gotta round. Throw, I gotta I gotta fly for that one. <laughs> Five, four, three. Oh, no, there you go. There. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh my oh. gosh. <laughs> you know what? That's all right. We'll throw them both in the final round. I will take a tiebreaker. So <laughs> we, we we make up the rules as we go. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's cool. Like, we'll, we'll give it a shot. I'll figure it out. Oh, what round three. Four way tie. That'd be fun. <laughs> went around? So oh, I got to remember. So the first one was Elf Quest. One. Second one was Superman and Ghostbusters. Okay. Round three. We've got Hella, Hella, Hella. Hey, hey. <laughs> Rihanna fans. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, we got In a costume. little hella. Um, little hella. Uh, <laughs> Felipe Masafara, um, super talented, uh, somewhat elusive in, in the terms of I've been on his list, gotten canceled off his list, you know. So the <laughs> struggle is real, but. You can't uh, can't deny the talent. So beautiful piece, uh, Fenris in the background. You know the giant Asgardian wolf. You know, um, you know, and and this Hella is a. Uh, I don't know. I I forgot the mythology, but I believe Loki's daughter. You know, not like the, uh, you know, in the movie where it was a uh, you know, Thor's sister kind of thing. But beautiful artwork, um, great color, and. Um, great talent from Felipe. So um, I'm a fan. Yeah. I mean, She's uh, Loki's daughter in, in the comics. Oh, is she? I didn't know that. I think uh, <laughs> your, your commission got turned into a cover and Mike bought it. So you should probably get it from him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We got, and then who's the wolf? What's, what's the wolf's name? Fenris. Eh, there you go. Uh, this is, Near and dear to my heart, right here. Me too. Ah! Oh, I love this. Okay, this piece is by Andrew Robinson. 
it's a watercolor commission. I'm so nostalgic about Calvin and Hobbes. And this is Hobbes the tiger, the cute little tiger. He's carrying the flag. Um, I read this strip in the Sunday newspaper, you know, growing up and also the books. I'm such a huge fan. So Andrew Robinson, I think really captured um, the original Calvin and Hobbes artists, you know, like this, this just uh, encompasses all of that work that um, Bill Watterson did in the beginning. Um, I just, I just love this. It's gorgeous watercolor. Love it. Yeah. Um, I've always joked that I would trade my entire collection for a Calvin and Hobbes piece. Mm -hmm. And it, yeah. you know what's the sad part is? I still don't have enough. Oh, maybe I yeah. don't. But, it's hard. I um, that was one of the, the, when we went to the cartoon museum on the, the calf thing in Columbus, we walked, and especially when we saw the last strip of Calvin and Hobbes, that was, that was awesome. Oh. Yeah. It's not Hella though, but it's still Hobbes. Yeah, it's <laughs> definitely Hobbes. All right. Oh, A phoenix. Okay. Just, I just had to. This was another one of those that just stuck out and was beautiful with the Phoenix Force behind her. I mean, it was just, I, I, I mean, I know that like Calvin and Hobbes is super nostalgic, but where are my like 90s X-Men fans and like all the X-Men fans that are out there? I mean, she's just the best, right? So, or just, uh, yeah, I just had to pick this one and I was, I was surprised that I didn't get bumped from it if somebody else had picked it, but I just thought it was great, especially with the space and then the Phoenix Force and then her and, it, and in the green costume, too. I mean, I, of course, I love Dark Phoenix, but I like this one, too. So this this one I thought that was just great and the um, hair and just all of it. Yeah. <laughs> Casey's like, yeah, um, yes, please. I mean, of course, I knew um, that she was going to be all in on yeah. that, too. I was going to say, you, you, got, you got one auto vote. You got, <laughs> you got one automatic vote in the audience. Should we um, get all of our votes anyway, uh, <laughs> regardless of what I pick? <laughs> oh, I yeah, I, like I, just, Phoenix. Oh. I just like, I like Phoenix. She's great. I feel a little bit strange collecting her because she's like Casey's number one girl, but um, I have one from Mindy Lee and I'm going to start to collect some more. And I just thought this one was, was absolutely fabulous. I had no idea you had any X-Men art or even Marvel art, but. Yeah, man, I got Storm. I got, there's a lot of stuff. That oh, I'm sorry, I sold you a Storm. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I do have some Marvel stuff too. <laughs> well, like uh, Phoenix, I think, is one of the characters that are just made for commissions or made yeah. for, I mean, because you can, the color contrasting, the fire, the uh, dramaticism. In fact, you can get a good side or an evil side, mm -hmm. you know, depending on uh, what you're looking for. I think the other one is uh, Poison Ivy that does that very well. We can get all yeah. the colors involved and, you know, depending on your take, you can do so much. <laughs> Trap behind the head. <laughs> so we got Phoenix and then last one on round three. Oh, yeah. I've oh. seen this one in person, too. Oh, yeah. Uh, I forgot I chose this one. All right. Yeah. So this is uh, Frank Quietly. Um, I, I, I've rarely seen him do paintings. And uh, I have no idea how much time he spent on this. I mean, just look at all the bricks he drew and painted. Bricks, <laughs> bricks the roofs. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I wish I saw this in person, but uh, this is this is Frank at his best. Um, I mean, I, I, I see a lot of his pencil work and it's, it's, it's amazing. But this piece in particular, um, very lucky collector who owns it. So. 750 per window. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so is this? I don't know if it's a cover. If it's not a cover, I mean, Marvel should make it a cover. But, but uh, Frank Quartley is getting some love. I never, like I said, I, I rarely see him do any kind of painting or any 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 colored piece. Actually, it's hard just to find Frank Quartley uh, inked piece. But uh, this one here, it's uh, Frank at his best. That's yeah, gorgeous. Um, I said I saw that one with the, uh, the Superman, and looks good on good on somebody's wall. That's for sure. All right, round three. No ties. No ties. Easy picks. We'll yeah. see. Yep. 
We got Miss Hella. Uh, Phoenix, Hobbs. Come on, Hobbs. Quietly. Come on, Hobbs. Mm. <laughs> This is a hard oh, choice. Yeah. This is a tough one. There's it's sentimental, tough. then there's like fabulous art, then there's like nostalgia. Yeah. Mm. I understand. Yeah. I really <laughs> like the hella, but I think Phoenix might get this one. <laughs> Let's see. Hey, I mean, panelists, feel free to vote. Where, where's the Dan Mora art? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> so there you, you have go. It all, man. <laughs> I'm gonna try it out. I'm not you voting because that would that wouldn't month. be fair. That's I just want to make sure. How is it not fair if you don't if you're, if you're voting? Come on, Hobbs. Oh yeah. I do like. They're also amazing. Bobby. I mean, come on. Yeah. They're all good. Yeah. Where is the Cox themed sketchbook from Magna Cox? I have just clicked on the Q and A for the first time. <laughs> 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 The entire month of uh, COX. All right. Everyone voted? 46 right, people Phoenix. watching? I don't know how many likes because I don't want to pull up YouTube and crash my system again. <laughs> <laughs> Only 28 likes. Smash that like button. Smash that like button, friends. <laughs> I just gave like. Oh. Nope. All right. Come on. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, there it is. Oh. Oh. Hobbs barely takes it. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Every, uh, you know what? I'm just for technical difficulty. No one wants to see my face anyway. We'll leave the camera off for a second, and we'll, we'll just oh. have him shine on the panelists. <laughs> All right. Well, we got Hobbs. Oh, well, now's the time. Oh, now it's a tie. Uh, <laughs> we got, we'll call it a Hobbs. We'll call it a Hobbs. What? <laughs> no, that's a tie. Okay. Another, we keep, another tie. Oh. <laughs> you guys are funny. It's a big there jump. Someone, someone changed their vote. That's someone changed their vote. Nope. They're still I'm going. <laughs> I'm not having too many ties. <laughs> Hobbs it is. <laughs> Yay, thank you. All right. It is final round. Is Come on, Jim. I'm rooting for you, man. Come on, Jim. What do you got, Jim? What do you, what's your final round? All did right. you submit anything? I, I did. <laughs> okay. These are all my pieces, so I'm going to win regardless. No. Um, <laughs> this is uh, The Cursed Library by Robert Hack. This was actually a free comic book day um, cover. Um, I was not able to go out this past Saturday, unfortunately, so I didn't pick one up. But I, I'm a big fan of uh, Robert Hack's work. Uh, I don't know if anyone's, you know, read any of the, you know, Chilling Adventures of Sabrina or the Afterlife with Archie, you know. But you know, those those books are, you know, just Archie always for me was, you know, kind of kid growing up. But you know, after those titles came out, kind of opened my eyes and. Really enjoyed them. Even enjoyed the Netflix um, Netflix show, um, Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. But yeah, this piece, a lot going on. Just um, I really like it. You know, and I thought. It, I mean, it reminds me. Uh, I don't know if it's like it reminded me of like a Daniel Warren Johnson piece when I first saw it. So, um, and, this, and the character is Jinx Holiday. So yeah, I saw like. Yeah, free comic book day, right? I saw a bunch of people picking that up and posting about it and everything online recently. It's a beautiful cover. Oh, yeah. It's a, it's a keeper. And it's got tentacles. Yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah. Could have thrown it last week. And it's got animals. Granted, just a head, but, you know, <laughs> counts. <laughs> so didn't, did you pick thing. And eyeballs, which I love. <laughs> did, did you pick this one as well, Sharon? I did. I did. Yeah. All right. That, see, I told you I was fair. I was fair. Is it a cover? Yep. Uh -huh. free, free comic book day, 2023. That, like it got released like yesterday? Or sorry, this uh, weekend? Yeah, this weekend. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Next is 
Whoa, where's Snorik at? He'll love this. <laughs> then again, thing probably it's a happy, loses. happy little picture. <laughs> um, all right, so this is my husband, the thing, and uh, Ramita Man, the whole <laughs> battling it out. And I, I do believe the thing is going to win this round um, in this awesome Jeff Slemons commission. I love this. There's so much detail. There's so much amazing technical stuff going on here. The lines going down with the sky and the smoke. And I mean, just look at the detail. It's incredible. Um, but yeah, uh, Anthony, the thing yeah. is going to definitely. Uh, oh, oh Anthony's not the Hulk? Hulk. Okay. No, Anthony's Anthony's the thing. Oh, okay. Yes. Everyone in the um, chat is asking if it's actually painted. <laughs> it is. It's ink. It's ink wash. It's, it's ink, wash. ink, ink wash. Like different, yeah, different uh, levels. Let's use a brush. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and some, I think he uses like a 500 series, uh, like a four ply uh, Bristol board on a lot of his art. I'm not sure if that's what this is because I've never seen it in person. Oh. But um, yeah, he does a lot of really cool ink, awesome stuff. And, and oh. the black and white work that he does is mind-blowing i mean incredible i know like anthony likes to say women love color i like black and white too i like grays i like shades of gray this is awesome now the detail in the background um, right there's the a junk. dude right there there's like a lot of stuff going on the the truck stop is destroyed yeah, power line back in the now. City. i mean it's it's major catastrophe mm -hmm. Put some pasties on Hulk, and it looks like Anthony. Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're gonna stop the camera for a little bit just as we get through the panel. All right. All right. We got we got a Loki helmet. So who? Hell yeah, oh. we do. I didn't know which order it was gonna come up around four, but I knew it would be around four since it hadn't come up yet. Uh, I mean, Daniel Govar, he's he is like one of the kings of watercolor, and this was just what? amazing. Um, yeah. I just loved pretty much everything about it. The, the wolf, the doorway, the arch, those horns. I mean, I, the gold. The dog. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. So I, anyway, I just, I really like that. And then like, you know, shout out to, to Daniel Govar because he is awesome and deserves to be in any painted piece show, in my opinion. So, and then, yeah, I mean, and I even possibly, you know, I've got, I've got it going on for... Yeah. I think he captures uh, uh, Loki's Loki's attitude, man. It's kind of I don't know, um, mischievous frat boy. Yeah, <laughs> I mean that's what it looks like. Definitely. Yep. God of all mischief, man! Like he's got yeah. it. There he is. That's awesome. Pound some beers and pull some pranks. Yeah. And Dan is a uh, pretty nice guy too. So. Yeah, uh -huh. he's a cool guy. Yeah. It's nice when your yeah. artists are nice people too. Yeah. Vote for Jim, are you going to talk about how uh, Dan always delivers his commissions? Yeah. Am is, I uh, gonna is, Jim, are you ever, you ever have you ever been on uh, Daniel's uh, commission list? No, no, I've I've seen that shows. Just oh, uh, okay. Well, he always see. delivers. I mean, so he's he's the polar opposite of that other artist you were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's gorgeous. It's, yeah, I mean, this is one of uh, my personal favorites of all the panel picks. Uh, not that I'm influencing anything because no one cares. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, oh, yeah, I mean, he painted pieces. Yeah. yeah. You kind of have to have an Alex Ross, right? Yeah, I was actually surprised there weren't more Alex Rosses, but uh, I'm, I'm glad there was one and, and it was an amazing one. So, congrats to the owner here. So, um, Alex obviously draws a great Justice League. Um, he actually included uh, Zatanna here. So, um, but, uh, no, I mean, I mean, you, you talk about, uh, the greatest painters in, in comic history. I mean, uh, you know, Alex Ross is, has to be in the top three. Most people might put him number one, but, uh, definitely up there in the top three is probably the best, uh, painters in, uh, comic history. Um, so yeah, Batman, Superman, uh, I wouldn't say his, 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 his greatest work, but, uh, this was what it was in the sketchbook and I think it's good enough. I mean, uh, Wonder Woman's kind of small there, isn't it? Isn't it, Joe? I mean, 
Yeah. Got Superman and bats in the foreground. She's in the middle. She, he, okay. he, he had her centered, so mm. I'll, I'll take it. It's fine. I think that's John Stewart in the back, too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's John oh. Stewart. And, you know, John Jones. All right. Yeah. Well, we know this is an L.E. Weewaz gallery. <laughs> All right. So we've got, man, this is a good slide. Look at that. Whoa! What? Yeah, there's some beautiful we artwork. Good, right panelists. Mm. Good. All right. We've got the library cursing. Um, we have Loki, Alex Ross, and uh, Thing versus Hulk, or I guess Anthony versus Berkey. What do we got? All right. Mm. Let's get to the votes. Final round. We're gonna so far we have Elf Quest, Hobbs, Superman, and Ghostbusters. What do we got on this one? Jim, I'm rooting for you, Jim. No Marvel there. so far. That's the only thing I'm gonna say. There is you do not say a single there's, Marvel. There's <laughs> that is surprising. There's no Marvel? There is Thing versus Hulk. That. No, no, no. Oh no, oh, I meant so like far, you're going to the final round. Oh, okay. What about Loki? Loki's probably gonna go with the final round. So I don't know. People are voting now. Voting, voting, voting. All right. <laughs> oh, they're got? so good. Ah they are good. Vote for me, plumbling Berkey. Oh well, he's got a point there. <laughs> but I mean we could have we definitely could have gone like All two right, other rounds and have like amazing pieces. So I will, I'm glad I will we're say, sticking. yeah, I will say this. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch it, and that's the winner. I'm still gonna leave it up, see what happens. But we're gonna call it at the switch. Any objections? No, no. that's fine. There we go. Oh, come on! <laughs> oh, <laughs> we're gonna go back. A three way time. <laughs> I mean, it's a three way time, man. I've had a three way result like that since college, oh. but um, all right. <laughs> I guess all three has to go to the final round. Oh, we're not doing that to you guys. We're going to count to 10. If anyone wants to make a change, then we'll go back. That's I'll so take funny. a tie. I can't do three. I, I got to put all these things together. Three is just too much. It's too much for you to Let's put together count in your little five, intermission. Four, three, two, one. All right. Nobody made any votes. Dude. Nobody did Don't any do votes. This to me. Don't do this to me. All right. <laughs> nice. Now it's going to be. Hulk and thing. Oh, Hulk and thing. Oh. oh. <laughs> I was rooting for you, Jim. <laughs> keep yeah, keep drinking. <laughs> All right, we're going to gonna do up. intermission. <laughs> oh, you can vote all the way. We're, we call it. Oh, are thing. you kidding? Like, it is so that, though. Like, it really is a tie. This stuff is so amazing. It's hard to vote. Mm hmm. Agreed. 100% agreed. Okay. Well, let me uh, flip it over to intermission. I think we've got a double intermission. So the first one, um, hold on one second. Oh, hey! have a happy birthday, Sharon. Oh, thank you. Happy birthday, oh. Sharon. Oh, thank you. Very Our panelists very are going to sing happy birthday. No, that's okay. Larry, lead us off. I think we're all lagged, so I don't think it'll work. <laughs> oh, happy birthday. I think Thank you're, you. you're supposed to be a cake or something. Yeah, isn't oh, Anthony supposed to bake I, a cake for you? I, I bet he fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone Anthony! in the chat wish oh, Sharon a happy birthday. He's, Maybe he's baking a cake for you. He's bringing me something. I can hear oh. him in the kitchen. I cannot believe, well... That is a picture of Anthony, right? That's Anthony, yes. He was the Nautilus man when I met him. He's a model. He hasn't he was changed. Underwear model and one bit. Run, walking the runways, shooting for famous photographers. Yeah, that's a beefcake break, right? Incredible. <laughs> yep, yeah, and that's me Talk dancing. I was um, a ballet major at North Carolina School of the Arts. And happy birthday to ah! you. Happy birthday to you. Where'd you get those pictures? <laughs> <laughs> the internet. 
Happy birthday, <laughs> dear Sharon. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Whip. Oh. Cool whip. Oh. Cool whip. From my childhood. Nostalgia. <laughs> Yay. It's no crotch goblin cake, but it'll do. And strawberries. Oh, here's some strawberries. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad Yay. we don't have any art in here tonight. You know what's the sad no, part is he's probably going to auction that cake off. Your own birthday cake. Two fifty. <laughs> yeah, probably. Let's put it in the fridge. Keep it. <laughs> All right. While can, you... I, can I give her some presents too? Go I for it, sir. Oh, no, come on. Quick, real present. Big screen. Is that a Calvin oh, yeah. Hobbs? No. No. Hold on. All right, so this was uh, on Adam Kubert's sales show uh, the other day, but I picked it up at the ArtCon because I liked it for the Sharona. It's, it's by Adam Kuber. Ah, I love him. His yeah. work is incredible, and he's such a nice so person. It's Sharon. Oh. Is being Look at that. Woman. Look at the eyes. Oh, my God. I'm and so picky about eyeballs. She loves, this is awesome. She loves Harley. <gasps> Harley present. Anthony. Yeah. And then look. Lady cop. Beating up beating up bad guys. Look at Mad Sharon. <laughs> oh, I'm so angry there. She's so angry. <laughs> angry eyes. I got beating up some. Look at that. Eyes. So give her angry face. And then look, she gets <laughs> gets picked up by her boyfriend and they kissy kissy. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Happy birthday. And then this one I think is really funny. There's Miss Sharon, little Sharon getting torched by the Mars attacks. Oh. Gosh, that reminds me of Garbage Patch Kids. It's like uh, it's a I recent this is public this is published art from the Martian Ping on her. Isn't that great? Look at poor What's Sharon. your best price, Anthony? A thousand dollars. Thousand dollars, and I take it out of Sharon's hands. <laughs> it's your birthday presents. Wait, wait a minute. We'll find and out if she likes them Wednesday. Our avatar. It's me and Sharon. Lady <gasps> in the train. Ladies on the back. And one more. I got this really cool vintage Disney painting. Oh, like okay. That? Yeah. Let me let me put this. Mother Goose. Here, take that. Let me check Here. this out. All right, Wait, that's it. Fall. That's Thank Sharon's you, birthday presents. Give the gift of art. It keeps on giving. Happy birthday. Go, show awesome. it. Happy birthday. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday. Anthony spent like 10 minutes giving gifts. <laughs> it has holes in it? It does. <laughs> Larry. Bullet, bullet shots, I think. Yes, yeah, it's, it's vintage. Shoe. It's authentic. Yeah, the the point holes in the shoe. He missed it. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. It's from the 40s. I didn't shoot it. It's like, but it's very old. <laughs> Yay. Thank look, you, honey. All righty. It's Sharon's birthday, but we're not going to say how old she is. No. <laughs> no. Yay. Oh, there's there's a five kind of sunk in there. <laughs> All right. Well, happy birthday. Thank you so much. Sorry well, I'm going to go. Oh, no, you're fine. I'm going to go um, create the final round. And so in the meantime, we have a collector's conversation. We, we've been trying to do these inter intermissions, and I thought we would talk about con season. Um, your guys' experience with cons, what you're looking forward to, um, any advice from a con perspective, and uh, how would we convince Bill to rename OAX to Megacox? So um, I will let you guys uh, take over that conversation. And Jim decided he didn't want to be a part of it. <laughs> Jim has no answers. He's going to be incognito at cons. Uh, yep, here, here he is. The thing is, Jim is a huge con goer. All right, I am back. Okay, let's read the... Uh, uh, Are you there? What's the order? I just jumped in here. What are we doing? There's no order. It's open conversation, talking? open dialogue. All right. We're talking about okay. Comic-Cons. All right. Well, I've, I've only been to one this year, one one uh, big one. I went to C2E2. That's right. Saw Anthony and got the shirt. Yay! So, so um, yeah, I mean, and I uh, 
this coming week, not this weekend, Mother's Day weekend, but the next weekend is Motor City. But unfortunately, I will be on military duty, so I cannot attend. So kind of sucks because that's usually my home show, home you know, homish show, one of my favorites. So a little bummed about that, but um, yeah. What about anybody else? What shows are coming up? Heroes. I'm, I'm looking, looking forward, forward to Heroes, Diego. man. <laughs> yeah, Heroes. San Diego? Yeah. Cool. I'm looking for it. Yeah, San Diego is my Have you favorite. gone on a San Diego a number of times, Sharon? Or is this your first? Oh, yeah. Forever. And when the kids were little, um, we would take them to Legoland and SeaWorld out there. Um, while Anthony was working his butt off, I would like be walking around <laughs> SeaWorld with the kids. Or Legoland, yeah. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> but yeah, San Diego is is amazing. Um, uh, especially when once they opened up from the pandemic and we were back again, I was just like, oh my gosh. I was so grateful to like see people again and like be around like, uh, you know, there's nothing like that being at a Comic-Con. It's, it's awesome seeing people and that was great. Yeah, I think probably me and you are the only ones who've been to San Diego Con. It, it, is, it is, is a massive con. <laughs> it's like nothing like it. Even if you've been in New York, it's like right. three times bigger than New York. I mean, yeah. it engulfs an entire city. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, yeah I, I can't, I, I mean, I go like every maybe every five years. It's just so overwhelming every time I go. Yeah. My feet are exhausted every time. Right. <laughs> I stopped trying to wear heels. Definitely oh my goodness. not wear heels or <laughs> anything like that. You need sneakers, even if you're young. <laughs> just oh, get the comfy shoes because you still wear you still miles. wear heels, Larry? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Six inches. Larry's a trooper, man. <laughs> Yeah. Well, what do we what do we look for? In, we look for who the creators are that are coming. We we're looking for original art. So, yeah, so we're really excited about a show versus a, another show that's more like celebrity centric. I don't, you know, that's not what yep. I go for. So that's true. Who's an artist alley? Yeah. Exactly. Have you guys Who's ever been to a con? Yeah. Have you been to a con that's been a waste of time? Plenty, but uh, I don't I don't speak about them. <laughs> <laughs> No, because I see friends. Even even if the creators aren't that great, I'm, I still see friends. It's yeah. still a good time. It's fun to walk around and look at you know cool stuff and you know see what see who the independent guys are in that particular market and what they're doing. And so I don't think it's a waste of time. Still, actually, I don't even go. To, I don't carry a portfolio at every con. So sometimes I just pretty much have my luggage and I'm just hanging out because I enjoy. Sometimes I just want to be in the con atmosphere. But no, I don't have a portfolio, and sometimes I do see the art, art I want to buy, but unfortunately, I don't have a portfolio to carry it in. <laughs> Anthony's got more in Dallas, you just use mine. You can, you can <laughs> yeah, go to Anthony. Exactly. <laughs> He's got free portfolios, you know. Right. <laughs> almost done. It's almost done. Right. I'll actually be a number of cons uh, this year. Um, I am cutting down, but. Uh, I've, I've sort of committed to like four. Actually, have a I have a collectors meeting uh, and and on Saturday if anybody's in the DC area, so mm -hmm. we got that this Saturday. But uh, I'll be at Phoenix in early June. Um, that's uh, I've been there. I've been there before. It's an okay con. But uh, I got Phoenix, and then I'll be in two weeks later. I'll be at Heroes, uh, and then Terrific Con, and then uh, and then Memphis like later. I think Memphis is late in the year, so. Wow. Uh, I've never been to Memphis before, so it's always a good excuse to go visit a city that I've never been to. That'll be fun. That's cool. I've never been to Memphis either. Yeah. Here yeah, I'll be at Heroes Con and the, the Dallas Fan Expo is actually the weekend before. So that's gonna be a really tough couple of weeks. <laughs> back to back. Yeah. I did that last year. <laughs> yeah. It's tough. Cool. What tree did you write in Dallas, though? You had a fun time. Yeah. 
Dallas is fun. Are you? Is there is there is there going to be a Dallas uh, comic art collector meetup in during you Fan know, Expo? Um, the North Texas it's, it's the North Texas Comic Art Club, um, and we typically do have at least one meetup over that weekend. I it's probably going to be Saturday this year. Um, oh. So, but yeah, but James is James is coming to the Dallas Con, so we're going to hang out on Friday. Well, that's his local con. <laughs> from Oklahoma. Basically. <laughs> it's the closest we got. That sucks, man. Yeah. I'm sorry about that. But but well, this, uh, it's a good thing that you can get art through the mail. <laughs> we did have well, James uh, can start the Oklahoma Comic Con. So right? we did have um what do we have? We had the an Oklahoma Wizard Con that was um terrible. <laughs> How long ago did that end? Uh, I think they still have it every now and then, but it was basically reminded me of a flea market, to be honest. Oh, no. Um, it was just, I mean, a lot of vendors, don't get me wrong, and there's nothing wrong with vendors, um, but it was just, yeah. There was no artists. Well, I think a lot of the small cons, I mean, they don't have these these big guest lists. They may have like one or two artist guests, and the rest of it is just uh, vendors who are just selling things. Comic art, like an artist's art, artist alley itself is just a small, very small portion of the, of the con, in most cases. Gotcha. Well, um, thank you guys for carrying the conversation. Uh, I think we are ready to finish this thing off. Um, all right. Present, screen share, and real, real quick, I'm gonna go off camera again because I don't, I'm tired of my technical difficulties. I hear you. <laughs> I've had to funny myself. She's eating out of the cool. <laughs> uh, nice. All right. Real, real quick, before we jump in, I did have four host picks. These are, we're not voting on them. These are the ones that when I went through of, you know, outside of the 16 that we had, which I personally liked. So. Oh, nice. Got this MODOK. Hmm. I mean. It, Is that Castro? So yeah. cool. <laughs> it's funny is uh i had a modok on the last one too um he's not converting <laughs> me i'm not i'm not joining the modok fan club but i still have a modok cake in my fridge yeah. <laughs> a MODOK you get the full body for the price of just the face i know um this one uh by um it wasn't alex ross sorry that's uh oh. it was a oh shoot who was it Olivetti. Olivetti. looks like Olivetti. i mean you know, just the emotional impact on that one, right? Um, the kiddos, the uh, behind the barbed wire, knowing the history of Magneto. Um, so is that a cover? Uh, no, I think it's just a commission. Okay, because he did have they did have a mini series about the Magneto's origins in the in the concentration camp. It was really good. Yeah. Um, so you know, kind of my background and stuff. Um, you know, it, it spoke to me. This one, uh, I've been always been a Clayton Crane fan. Um, I like this one because uh, Deadpool is um, ripping off uh, Cable's arm. Oh, there's that Modoc cake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> um, and Clayton Crane, you know, I mean, it's one of those guys that are synonymous Corona with me. Corona Doc cake. <laughs> so, um, and my last uh, host pick was this one. You know, I never read why the last man, um, but I know it's um, uh, beloved. And wow. when I was scrolling through, the colors on this one got me. The contrast in blue, um, everything about it. The, the monkeys, I guess. I don't know. There's monkeys. Oh, that was one of my backup of animals picks. tonight. That's that's really awesome. Yep. So. Those were the host picks. Um, just wanted to kind of share that. And then we will go to the audience picks for the championship round. We're going to start with abs. <laughs> I'll be known as abs. That's abs. a fine <laughs> Call me that. Yeah. Uh, well, really quick. Any, any, you just closing thoughts on abs. Closing thought on, thoughts on abs. I mean, there's an animal in there. You got pretty ladies in there. You, you know, more than one very good looking guy. I mean, they're elves. It's Wendy Peeney. It's 45 years old at least. 
uh, if not a little bit older than that. I mean, I I just think it's yeah. great. It's good composition, flows together our, well. Our animal quotient tonight was pretty good. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Right? We did well yeah. with the animals. And, and then we got Superman and Sunset. It's just I got mean, all the feels, Sharon. Yeah, this is this is it. I mean, um, Bill Sienkiewicz, what else? I mean, flying into the light. Go into the light. There's peace yeah. and serenity in the light and strength for Superman. Um, I, ju I just love this work. Calming on a Monday. Incredible. All right. We got uh, the tie. Oh, Ghostbusters. <laughs> yeah. I mean, who are you going to call? That's right. So, um, no, I mean, it's, it's, I mean, they don't, they don't have the likeness of the actors. It looks like some cosplayers, but, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm, I'm, I'm a sucker for the Ghostbuster pack. So it has all it. nice light up features. I probably should have got one from HasLab, but, uh, yeah. um, I think it's really cool. That's it. We got, you know, everyone's childhood. Calvin and Hobbes. Hobbes. Um, just incredible by Andrew Robinson. Um, this pulls at my heartstrings. Um, um, it's it's just beautiful, the watercolor, the work that he did to capture the original Calvin and Hobbes artist. Brilliant. Oh. oh, man, I didn't have the slide for the Hulk thing, but it's down there on the bottom. <laughs> ah. That's going fast. Uh, Anthony versus Berkey. There yeah, he Sharon is. Got, you got three yeah. of them. Oh, Sharon what? got three of them. Whoa, whoa. Bring in the, yeah. uh, you know, like Anthony, the, you know, the thing is just incredible. And um, technically speaking, Slemons is just incredible. Um, yeah. The black and white art, the ink uh, that he uses in this, and all the detail that goes into it, it's just blowing. Hello, look at the smoke, look at the line, the the sky, um, yeah. just, Jim. just yeah. incredible. Who has your vote, Jim? Oh, what do you a, think? This is detail, detail in mind, just, just rocking and rolling. Yeah. yeah. So I, Jim's probably, the one sitting out. He, he, yeah. I'm, I'm probably going either the Elf Quest or the uh, and Kevich. Oh. So that's Petition my, Jim. Yeah, one of those two. All right. I think so. your first your first gut reaction was correct. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> um, Go into the light. There is peace and serenity in the All right. <laughs> so, wait. Is it, oh, man, it's going to show it. Oh, don't look. You, can, you don't have a way to hide it? Let's see. He does. Oh, there you go. <laughs> no, it's not going. <laughs> of course, right. that's 75% of the votes. It'll just Whoa! be in real time. <laughs> Why didn't you can't it, just call it there. Why didn't it do it? All right, we'll we'll do a timer. I, I have a random timer. Random right. timer. Yep. I'm only till it gets the end, so I do the tiebreaker. I'm not going to tell you when it's going to stop. Well, we'll see. That's what's happening. Oh, yeah. There we can see the votes. No, no, Superman. He got always have enough. That one doesn't have enough. <laughs> I I still like this one. That oh wow! Great. And then <laughs> Calvin and Hobbes. I mean. Uh, oh, you guys, what happened to this Don't Let Larry Win campaign? <laughs> <laughs> what happened to that? <laughs> Do I need to fly it. again? Do I need to put on a, a wig? And That's amazing. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Oh, you can't see me because my camera's not on. That's stressful. All right. And we call it. What do we got? Oh, Quest! Quest! For the world world hurt, man. Congratulations! I did not see that one coming. Elf Quest winning the whole thing. And this is the, this is the piece I had to... I, I actually picked uh, Superman as one of mine, the one that Sharon had. I picked I Elf Quest! Something else, and I flipped to Elf Quest. That's amazing. Wow. <laughs> I printed out almost everything here. Like that that's really wild. We're on the same wavelength here. Yeah. So we will call it for James, what are you doing? A revote? What's going on here? Nope. Just going back to uh <laughs> Elf Quest. Seeing seeing the bigger 
This is this is the audience vote for the best painted piece. Yay! Because it's so much fun and it's so incredible. Look at that. There's something for everyone in there, and I and I love the Superman piece for sure. But I mean, I'm very happy for Elquist getting the recognition. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I remember being at a con and and uh, Elfquest art was there. It wasn't getting the love. So so Elfquest art was 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 going pretty cheap, unfortunately. So let me ask. I mean, um, I've never read it. Was it good? Yeah, man. Yeah. Re just go read the the main quest on Elfquest.com. It is free. You don't have, and it is so easy, and they've optimized it for you know cell phone or your desktop. So, yeah, it's it's a great story. So as somebody said an earlier comment way up there. Don't even bother go looking for it for it. But somebody said it changed their life, and I I agree. Aww. It's a it's a great story about love and you know your your friends and family and what's really important in life. So. Mm -hmm. Swords and abs. Wonderful. Swords and abs are really important in life. <laughs> Don't give it to your kids though if they're too young. There, there is some not suitable for work content. <laughs> is a fellowship in there too? The fellowship? Yeah. <laughs> and dwarves? No. Not that kind of comic. <laughs> There's <laughs> trolls. <laughs> cool. All right. Well, I want to thank you guys um, for jumping on here for your time. Um, and then also thank the audience for not only putting, you know, 300 okay. works in, um, and then also, you know, this theme this month is humor. Uh, even if, if you don't have anything, I don't really have much humor art or I don't know. I did post one. So which was, uh, say, if you have any dark humor art, that's what the I as well. hmm. humor. I'll have something. I'll find a couple cool pieces. I don't think my humor is appropriate for the. <laughs> yeah, I think I think James is frozen for me. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> muted. <laughs> now you're muted, James. I'm mute. Yeah, that's so frustrating. And, and you know, here's the sad part: is uh, so I'll, I work for a company. Well, I guess I'll say they own WebEx. I'm on video conferencing all day. Right. Uh, so I, this is what I do. And, and I've got all these setups and I've got the screens and to have StreamYard just crash on me left and right. It's, it's a little embarrassing, Aww. but that's all right. But you guys, uh, thank you. Post some stuff into the humor for sketchbook. Um, hit like uh, if you haven't. I haven't been tracking them. I haven't been watching them. And uh, we'll, we'll see you guys next month. Yay. Right. See you, Jill. Thank you.